Okay, fine. So forgive my my little mic thing. Well, that didn't work either, so thank goodness for editing. So find yourself in child's pose, right? Aren't you glad we're not filming? That's next. Cool. All right. So child's pose, this little spot. It's the beginning, right? So every yoga practice is, a, is kind of like this one hour of a story. And you start out in the beginning and it's always starting out with child's pose. And it's the place that you will start to find places that need a little softening, maybe you need a little engaging. And you do that simply through your breath. There's nothing else to do. You cannot get this wrong. So the knees go anywhere that they most that they're most comfortable. Sometimes drawing them closer together can be better. Sometimes taking them wider can be better. Sometimes taking your arms behind you feels better, or maybe even one if you happen to have a sore shoulder. That helps. And as you breathe in through your nose, back out through your nose, sometimes in a yoga practice, it's nice to have an intention. Doesn't mean you always follow it, but sometimes it helps to bring that into focus because let's face it, our minds go in other places. And if you have the intention already set up, it has, it gives you an opportunity to pull back to something. So maybe today your intention is simply to notice the length of your breath. That's it. It's pretty simple. If you're able to make your exhale a little bit longer, you might find that you can soften a little more. And with that, walk your hands off to the right side of your mat. Maybe reach the left arm a little farther. Let the right arm just kind of bend and relax. Take that inhale here. And then a loud, long, don't be shy, exhale. And then walk them back over to the other side. Now the right arm's gonna reach just a little bit longer. Ideally, your ribs are kind of opening up. The left arm is gonna relax. And you take a slow inhale here and a loud, longer exhale. And then the hands walk back into the center. And then the slowest inhale yet. And then the longest exhale yet. The next inhale carries you up to a tabletop position. Your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Everything is very balanced. So take your knees a little wider to get steady. I suggest you close your eyes and move through cat cow. And all that means is moving your spine around. So you drop your chest down, you lift up your chin. That's the inhale. The exhale, push the floor away, let your head fall. And you move through that to the rhythm of your own breath, noticing any movement you want to take in your shoulders or your hips, anything. Then it comes back to neutral. The belly gets really strong. You reach from the crown of your head forward. Tailbone reaches to the back. And this next inhale kicks your right leg straight back behind you. <clears throat> By keeping your arms straight, you can maintain some stability and then reach your left arm forward. Find as much length as you can on the inhale. And on the exhale, connect your elbow to your knee and your chin to your chest. Then inhale, make it really long. Exhale, connect it and open your back more. Inhale, super long. And one more time, make this the most round. 
Inhale long, float the arm out to the side. Reach behind you and get a hold of your foot if you can. Grab it from the outside of your foot. That helps your shoulder kick it up into the ceiling with a big inhale and then release it down with an exhale. Now we do the other side. Inhaling, kicking the left leg back. Move it around any way you need to. It's kind of early. And then the opposite arm goes forward. Find the stability first on the inhale and then round and connect on the exhale. And then inhale, make it super long. Exhale, open up the space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, make it really long. And this last one, really round. And then inhale, make it long, hold it up, float the arm to the side. Bend your back knee, grab your foot. Kick up, look up and lift up. And then let it come down. And now just drop your head, loosen it up. Any unorganized movement doesn't really matter. All you're doing is exploring around with your breath. And then turn your toes underneath you. Send your hips up to the ceiling for your first down dog of the day. So you want to bend your knees and you want to pedal your feet. And again, allow for that movement. Ideally, your chest is pressing towards your thighs. Feels like your armpits press towards your kneecaps and bending your knees really helps. The next inhale, come up to the tippy toes and then slowly exhale down to the right. So the side body starts to open. And then we'll go to the middle again on the inhale and shift down to the left. Perfect. And then inhale to the middle. Draw your belly in as much as you can as you send your tailbone up to the ceiling. And the exhale floats the heels as low as they will go. It doesn't matter how low, it's just stretching the back of the legs. And then take your right foot, walk it up to your right hand, left foot to left hand. Open your feet and hang out like a rag doll. So I find it's easier to open up your feet, maybe even beyond the distance of your hips. You get more stability. You can let your neck relax, shake your head around, maybe grab opposite elbows and sway. Just let your spine be heavy. And then come back into the center. Put a deep bend in your left knee Straighten the right leg. Left hand goes on the floor. The right one goes up. It's a spinal twist. You could even use your elbow as leverage against your knee as you wrap behind you. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, right hand goes down. Left arm goes up. The right knee bends. You're just opening up your back. So look up at your hand and then wrap behind on the exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, melt down. Be heavy, heavy, heavy. Everything is easy. And then you'll heel toe your feet together. First one's just a half lift. So you're loose at this moment. Knees are bent. The inhale, come up halfway. Straighten your back, straighten your legs. Exhale, melt all the way down. Release everything. Be heavy. Bend your knees. This time, inhale all the way up to standing. Reach up tall, lift out of your waist, and then forward fold all the way down. It's like a swan dive, heavy at the bottom. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt down. Slow, steady breath. Inhale, reach and rise. Body weight's kind of in your heels. And then forward fold all the way down again. Make sure you bend your knees when you get there. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt. This is the highest one yet. Inhale, ride your breath all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Awesome. Inhale, half lift. This time, place your hands fully on the floor, shoulder width apart. The right foot goes all the way back. Now the left. High push-up. So you're in a top of a plank position. The hips are in line with your shoulders. Your core is really strong. If you want to be on your knees, go ahead. Then shift slightly forward on the inhale. Exhale, ride it down to a hover. 
Inhale, roll over the tops of your feet, and then exhale back over the feet, downward facing. So by the top, you look like an upside down V. This time, try it on your terms, your rhythm of breath. Inhale to the top, you take it from there. The exhale rides you down, the inhale pulls you back up. Right on. A little bit of movement, go slow and use your breath. Inhale, right leg goes up to the ceiling. Let your foot drop, bend your knee, let gravity take over your hip, just breathe. And then inhale, leg to straight. Send it all the way through to your right hand, exhaling. The inhale takes you up to warrior one. So in warrior one, your back heel is on the ground. Really root into your back foot. So again, if you ever need to move your front foot forward to be more comfortable, do it. This is about ease. It's about figuring out where, where you want to be, not where you have to be. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step the foot back. Move through the flow, the high to low, up to down. Sun salutations, they warm your body, not just through your muscle, but also through your breath. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, sending it through to the left hand. Inhale, reach up for warrior one. Again, finding that spot. So sometimes heel toeing your front foot over a bit, let your back heel drop on the ground. Straighten the back leg and really get the belly in and up. Inhale and then exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, high to low, up to down. Lengthening your spine with every breath. Inhale, right leg goes all the way up. Send it through to warrior one. Take your time. So once you find your breath again, on the exhale, glide open, warrior two. So in warrior two, you might heel toe your front foot in a little, line up your heels, press your front knee out to your pinky toe to get alignment in the knee. Lift your chest on the inhale, exhale, windmill the hands to the floor, step back, high to low, up to down. And inhale the left leg high. Send it through to warrior one. The inhale carries you up. The exhale glides you open. Again, finding equality in both feet. So move them so you sit right in between your feet. Now you can root your tailbone down. It might feel like your spine gets taller. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, windmill the hands to the floor. Step back and flow. Really nice. Perfect. Inhale, right leg comes up. Sending it through to warrior one. Each movement attached to a single breath. Glide open, warrior two. Turn the palm in the front to the ceiling. Inhale forward and then exhale all the way up. So here, take a really full breath, lifting out of your waist, reaching up to the ceiling, looking up at the ceiling, and then inhale back to warrior two. The exhale windmills you down, high to low, up to down. Perfect, inhale, left leg high, sending it through to warrior one. Breath to movement. Glide open, warrior two. Tailbone roots, palm turns, hinge from the hip forward. Try to touch the ceiling first and then the back wall. So you feel lifted out of your waist. Inhale back to warrior two. Windmilling the hands down, moving through that flow. High to low. From downward facing dog, take a slow inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, don't be shy. Oh, that was so good, I think you need another one. Try it again, inhale slow, open and let it go. Perfect, walk, step, float your feet to the middle of your mat. Slowly come up to standing, take your time. 
your feet will touch in mountain pose. So mountain pose is kind of cool. If you can draw your feet together so you can feel them, palms are by your side, palms face the front wall. Notice your shoulders hugging your spine. And then take a breath just with your eyes closed. See what happens. All of a sudden you start to get really centered and really strong. And then open up your eyes, inhale, arms up over your head, palms touch, interlace your fingers, cross your thumbs, and release the index. So the straighter and stronger your arms can be, the better off you'll be. But let your shoulders drop back down. Inhale, lift up out of your waist. Exhale over to the back right corner of the room. So this pose is about a minute. And the goal is to lift up out of your waist and go up and then over. So there's really no compression in the lower spine. And you can achieve that by dropping your tailbone down. So really engaging your legs and lifting the upper body out. At the same time, there's a softness to it. So be easy with it. Allow for the movement of it. Think of seaweed in the ocean. Let it move around to find a place of ease. Relaxing your jaw, relaxing your eyes. Each inhale takes you up and over this imaginary barrel that's next to you. The left hip is gonna push over to the left, get more space. You have about two more breaths to go. Lifting up and out of your legs, chest is open, the arms come back by the ears, that will help. And the final exhale takes you to an edge. Three, two, inhaling back to straight, keep the arms tall, let the shoulders drop. Inhale, reach up, exhale over to the back left. So again, it's all in the quality of your breath. That's all it is. The slower you can breathe, the more deeply you can breathe, the more ease you'll find. And once you have that, then you can start to play with the movement. So maybe the left shoulder comes slightly forward. Maybe the hips and the shoulders start to square off. Feels kind of like you're pulling your right arm out of your waist. And again, that jaw softens. Lifting up your kneecaps can give you a sense of elevating out of your legs. Just breathing. So take two full, complete breaths on your own, each one bringing you up and over. And the final exhale bringing you to some edge. Three, two. Inhaling to straight, keep the arms, but let your head fall back heavy. Just let it shake around, relax. You never wanna do a back bend like that, so pull your head up back through your arms. If you like supported back bends, that's perfect. Place your hands on the small of your back. Inhaling, lifting your chest up. Keep your legs straight and go back and lean back. Lifting up, back bends are trust poses. It's simply a matter of how much do you trust your own breath. For three, two, slowly rise, and then forward fold all the way down. Squat down, shake it out, <clears throat> anything you need to do. So let your head relax, bend your knees, pedal your feet, and then separate your feet out about six or seven inches. So you're still in this forward fold, Pick up the tops of your feet and slide your hands underneath your feet, fingers first, kind of like little pieces of paper. So the more you can step on your hand, in other words, toe to the wrist crease, the better stretch you're gonna get. And first, just relax. Let it be loose, head is heavy. Now draw the belly in, inhale, pull your elbows out to the side, start to straighten your knees, Send the tailbone up. Allow your forehead to reach for your shins and just breathe. That's all you gotta do. Pull and breathe for three. Keep pulling. Two. 
Awesome. Release your hands. Walk your feet together. Turn your palms to the front wall. Fingertips stay on the ground. Hips lower down to knee level for chair. So in chair, all your weights in your heels. The inhale, arms come up by your ears. Palms face the back. On the exhale, reach behind you. Straighten your spine. Sit low. Inhale, arms come up. Root your tailbone here. Exhale, reach back. Squeezing your knees helps. Inhale, arms come up. Shoulders creep over your hips a little more. Exhale, arms go back. This inhale, inhale all the way to standing. Arms go up. And the exhale swings your right arm underneath your left. So your elbows nest together. It's eagle. So if you can't get the wrap, don't worry about it. Just squeeze every, whatever you can. This is a compression pose. So squeeze and sit low. Inhale the right knee above, over, and behind the other leg. And if that doesn't go today, kickstand your toe on the ground so you can balance. All good. So ideally, there is no gap anywhere. Your entire inner thigh is meshing with the other. Now you start to work your alignment. The knees start to go to the right. Elbows start to go to the left. Lean back a bit, sit low, take two full breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose, make them slow. Three, two, perfect. Inhale, reach all the way high, infuse your body with air, and then exhale, swing left under right, getting that wrap. So again, really squeeze sit low inhale left knee up over and possibly behind if you do have the wrap press the back of your foot into your calf if you don't point your toe in the direction that you'd like it to go it will get there someday squeeze everything sit down draw your belly in take two full breaths here and know that this compression is really cleaning out lots of internal organs and joints for three, two, perfect. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Turn your palms to the front wall. Exhale, sit into chair. Inhale, arms come up, second set. And then draw the arms back on your exhale. Your spine is long. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, arms go back. Perfect. Inhale, arms come up, sit low, palms touch. And if you want a challenge today, float your heels off the ground. Feels like you're opening your ankles to the front wall. For three, two, inhale to standing, exhale forward fold, inhale half lift, exhale hands to the mat, step your feet back, move through that flow, high to low, take your time. So you just pulled the space out of your spine, all the length that you just created. And now we'll start to align that. So walk your hands back to your feet. Come up to standing kind of slowly. Find mountain pose again. That's where your toes are touching. Tiny little bit of light between your heels. And I would recommend a breath or two with your eyes closed to find that really strong centered place. And when you found it, Inhale the right knee directly in front of the right hip. Flex your right foot so the toes come up to the knee. And notice that your left leg is still in mountain pose. So find that feeling again. Perfect, awesome. This is the pose. There is no reason to advance if you haven't built the foundation of the house. So if you're working on the stability of the standing leg, 
stay here. It's a perfect place to be. If you like, you could interlace your hands around your knee, keep the knee directly at hip level, or round down over the thigh, picking up the ball of the foot, gently kicking forward, straightening your spine, and then rounding forehead to knee. Wherever you are, the only thing that matters is the quality of your breath. Three, two, step down on the right foot, send the left toes to the back wall, arms to the front wall, interlace your fingers. From the side, you look like a perfect letter T. So point your toe to the back, reach your arms to the front, draw your belly in for three, two, slowly inhale up, exhale, resetting into mountain pose. Your left hand will go to your left hip. Make your left leg strong, reach your knee up over your hip and either get your toe if that's not available, get the knee. Either way, doesn't matter. Perfect. So once again, this is the pose. This is a hip opener. So the knee is up and off to the side about 45 degrees. And what you're looking to do is find the level quality of your shoulders. So roll your right shoulder back to make it even again. And if you're ready, you might kick forward if your hamstring will let you. Otherwise, just pull your knee open like a gate. Notice that your shoulders and your hips are in line. Check in with your breath. Just breathe. Three, two, slowly draw the leg back into the middle. Kick it high. Reach your arms way high. Three, use your core. Two, step down on the right. Hinge into warrior three. Left foot lifts, flex your foot, arms go back, chest is forward. Just breathe. Hands to your chest, and then reach for yourself in the mirror. Press your heel back for three, two. Slowly rise and reset once again. The right elbow will bend at the right hip. The palm faces up. Grab the inside of your foot or ankle without turning your wrist. So the inside of your elbow will always face out. Inhale the left arm all the way up to the ceiling as close to your ear as possible. So you are looking to be as tall as you can be. The reach of the hand in the ceiling is active just as the pull of your foot in your hand is active. First, get the alignment. So the knees line up, not one in front of the other or out to the side, but nice and lined. And if you have found that, that's when maybe, maybe, you might want to kick up to the ceiling. The knee comes with, arm stays by the ear, and now you're kicking and reaching in opposite directions. And in that, there is an equality. Just breathe. Three. Two, slowly inhale, come up, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, move through a flow, and set yourself up to align the other side. Before you do, though, take a slow inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Perfect. Walk your hands back again to your feet. Slowly come up, finding mountain pose, always knowing that you have the option of taking one or two of them with eyes closed just to pull everything in. It kind of helps. And then inhale the left knee directly in front of the left, left hip. Flex the foot, make it strong. Engaged muscle really does support your skeleton. So anytime you have muscle that isn't engaged, it's gonna feel heavier. So play around with the muscles of the right leg, engage them, 
you might get more steady. And if you have, then maybe you get the knee or swoop down to the ball of the foot. No matter where you are, it doesn't matter as long as you are breathing. If you do have the foot, gently kick the heel forward. Take a little notice of the equal kick into your hand and onto the floor. Final expression would be to round forehead to knee. Three, two, slowly come back up. Step down on the left, right toes point, arms go to the front wall, that perfect T. It's called balancing stick. So imagine you are balanced on a stick, which is your standing leg. Three, two, slowly coming up. Find mountain pose once again. Now the right hand goes to the right hip. Give it a squeeze. Draw the knee up and off to the side, either getting the knee or reaching for the toe. Left shoulder is going to roll back. So your chest is really open and tall. Perfect. So once again, you have the option to kick forward and swing open like a gate or simply take the knee. Either way, does not matter. What matters is how tall you are. What matters is the quality of your breath and the stability of your standing leg. Awesome. Three, two, Draw the leg back into the center. Leave it kicking high. Reach your arms high. Breathe, slightly leaning forward for two. And now step down and hinge into warrior three. Right toes face the floor. Heel presses back. Arms go back. Hands to your chest. Reach forward and push back simultaneously. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, awesome. Slowly coming back up and find mountain pose again. Left elbow bends at the left hip. The palm will face up. Reach back at the inside of your foot. Line your knees up. Reach the right arm high. So the closer your arm is to your ear, the more open your chest becomes. And Ideally, your arm will stay by your ear at all times, even if you decide to kick. So find that stability. Kind of ignore everything else going on. Listen to the quality of your breath. That's really the way you know if you want to stay here, because it's kind of cool. There's a, there's a simplicity to it that's nice. Or if you want to kick your foot up to the ceiling, reach your arm kick and reach equally, you are the bow pulling back and reaching forward at the same time. Three, two, inhale, arms come up, coming back, forward fold on the exhale, inhale, half lift, exhale, hands to the mat, moving through that flow, Easy, easy. We made back and downward facing dog. The next part is just a few flows. If you're new, don't worry about it. You can always just hang out um, or just play with it and have fun with it. So from down dog, take a really slow inhale. Open up your mouth and let it go. All right, here we go. Inhale, right leg comes high. Sending it through, warrior one. Gliding open, warrior two. Use your breath to move yourself. Turn the palm, hinge forward, go up, back, reverse, side angle. Chest to the ceiling, take a breath. Inhale, back to warrior two. Chin turns to the back wall. Right elbow, right knee, left arm goes high, side angle. Right hand down, left arm to the front wall, bicep by the ear. How much length in your side body can you find? Left hand comes down, spin up on the back toes, right arm goes up. 
Exhale, wrap the arm behind you. Peel away your shoulder in your exhale. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, circle around, come down to the elbows. Hug your knee in, and if you like arm balances, here's a spot for you. Otherwise, you can drop to your knee or stay on your toe. Doesn't matter. Place your hand on the inside of your foot. Drop the back heel on an angle. Left arm comes up. Exhale, wrap behind. Maybe bind. So that would mean take your right arm underneath you and grab your wrist. And then release that to a low runner's lunge. Either on the knee or the toe, does not matter. Hands start at your chest. Lift your chest up tall on the inhale. Exhale, twist. Left elbow past your right knee. And just breathe. Awesome, release your hands to the floor. Step back, high to low. Take your time. Always can be done on your knees, no worries. Then inhale, left leg up. Exhale, send it through, warrior one. Glide open, warrior two. Palm spins, hinge forward, go up, back, reverse. Huge breath right here. Inhale, back to warrior two. Chin to the back wall, left elbow, left knee, right arm goes up. Left hand down, right arm over. How much length? Right hand down, spin up on the back toes. Left arm comes up. You're looking for length in your spine. So reach your collarbones forward, then wrap behind. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, circle around your ankle. Come down to the elbows, maybe the knee. Let your head fall. Again, if you like arm balances, great opportunity. Place your hand on the inside of your foot. Drop the back heel on an angle. Right arm comes up. Exhale, take a wrap, maybe a bind. If you have the bind, pull your arm to straight to open your collarbones. Release, come to a low lunge right in the center. Hands at your chest. Then twist, right elbow past the left knee. Ideally, your shoulders are in a line. If they're not, just breathe forward. Three, two, release the hands to the floor, step back, high to low, up to down. A lot of breath, perfect. Inhale, right leg comes up. Send it through to warrior two. So arms go long. Sit here for just a moment. It's a pretty cool pose. You want to press equally into both feet. And if you want to move your feet to find a better spot, do that. Then straighten the front leg. Turn your toes inward. So the heels bump out, toes are in. Palms go up to the ceiling. And then forward fold all the way down getting a hold of your feet, your ankles, your calves, anything, does not matter. And then lift your chin slightly. If you lift your chin slightly, you can pull your body towards your thighs. It opens up your chest. If you like headstands, here's your chance. Just breathe. So on the exhale, pull even more. Perfect. On your inhale, straight, strong spine, float up into warrior two. The left hand spins to the mat. The right foot goes back for side plank on the left. So the right arm goes high. You can be on your knee, you can float your foot, but ideally your shoulders are stacked and if you reach over, bicep is by the ear, Three, two, awesome, hand to the mat. Five pauses in a plank position, five push-ups. What is your body looking for today? What, what is in your best interest? 
on the fifth one, move through that flow, high to low, up to down. And then inhale, left leg all the way up, sending it through warrior two. Again, taking a few breaths just to find the sweet spot, right? Sometimes rooting your tailbone down and pulling your belly in and up, that feels better. Perfect. Straighten the front leg, turn the toes inward. Now the hands come behind you, interlace your hands, press your wrists together, knuckles draw down as your chest lifts up, and then forward fold all the way down. So this is a shoulder opener, and the best way to do it is just to let your shoulders relax. Full, rich, deep breath. Just hang. Then inhale, half lift, arms go out to the side like wings. Your back is really strong and flat. Right hand goes on the floor below your nose. Left arm goes up to the ceiling. And if you wanted to, you could take your right hand closer to your left foot, get a more, more of a twist. Then exhale, wrap behind and breathe. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, left hand down, right arm high. Again, choosing where do you put your hand? How much of a twist would you like today? Exhale, wrap behind. Notice the equality in your hips. Level out your hips. Perfect. And then place your hands on your waist. Inhale, float up to warrior two. Right hand spins to the mat. Left foot goes back, side plank on the right. Side planks are great for your core. Press your hip higher, reach your arm over, maybe float the foot. It's totally up to you. Placing your hand on the mat, choosing to pause in a plank and build strength, or do some push-ups and build even more. It's up to you. On the fifth one, move through a flow. Nice. Perfect. Inhale, right leg comes high. Sending it through, warrior one. Glide open, warrior two. Knee pushes out to pinky toe, then straighten the front leg. Turn the palm up to the ceiling. Hinge from the hip forward, go up, back, reverse triangle. So in triangle, your legs are straight, chest is open. On an inhale, come back to neutral arms. Bump your back foot in a little bit, hinge from the hip forward, and then right hand touches the shin or the floor or your foot, left arm up for triangle. Again, leaning back here helps. Reach the arm over to the front wall, bicep by the ear. Want a little bit of strength in your core. Take your bottom hand to meet your top hand. Three, two, hands to the mat. Bump the back foot even more, square off your hips. And then forward fold over your straight front leg. Nothing to do but breathe. Just hang right over, you got two straight legs. Left hand's gonna remain on the floor. The right one goes up, so it's reverse. And try to feel like your collarbones are reaching for the front wall. Exhale, wrap behind. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, back leg lifts off the ground. Warrior three. Arms go back, hands to your chest. Standing splits, right hand, right ankle, or calf. Left toes reach for the ceiling as you pull your forehead to your shin and breathe. Make sure you breathe. Awesome. Release your hand to the floor. The left arm goes up, half moon. So flex your back foot, stack your hips, stack your shoulders, and then pull your core in tight, one movement, Rotate all the way around, left hand down, right arm up, breathe. Three, two, 
hands to the mat, step it back, move through a flow. That was awesome. Not easy. From down dog, inhale, left leg up. Exhaling, sending it through, warrior one. Use your breath. And then glide open, warrior two. Take your time. Straighten the front leg, turn the palm. Hinge forward, go up, back, reverse. Your hips are pushing forward to the front wall. Inhale, back to neutral arms. Back foot steps in a bit. Hinge forward. Now drop into triangle, left hand down. Now the hips push to the back wall. Lean back, reach your arm over to the front. Maybe meet the bottom arm to the top. Just breathe. Hands to the mat. Send the back foot in even more. So it's about a foot and a half distance between your feet. Forward fold right over your straight front leg. Easy, easy, easy. Perfect. Right hand stays, left arm goes up to the ceiling. Take your time. Exhale, take a wrap. Then inhale, reach up high. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, back leg lifts. Warrior three, arms go back, chest is forward. Hands to your chest. Standing splits, hands to the floor. Left hand, left ankle or calf. Right toes go to the ceiling, just breathe and pull. Left hand releases to the floor. Right arm goes up, stack your hips, flex your foot. This is all about your core, so really draw it in strong. And then rotate around. Right hand down, left arm high. Take your time. Three, two, awesome. Hands to the mat, step it back, move through a flow. High to low, up to down. Slow inhale through the nose. Loud exhale through the mouth. Perfect. Inhale, right leg up high. This time, exhale, send it through to pigeon. So the knee comes up by the right wrist. The back leg goes straight behind you long. Maybe lift up out of your waist. Exhale, forward fold right onto your thigh. Everything is going to just drape. And I would highly recommend coming off of your arms. Two ways to do that. One is to reach the arms out in front of you. The other is to let them fall anywhere you want behind you. So pigeon is a hip opener. It's, it can be intense. So your best bet is just to take a couple breaths, slower, maybe longer than you have yet. And every exhale, let something just release and relax. Fully, fully complete your exhale. Place your hands on the mat. Push yourself back up into downward facing dog or move through a flow if you like. And then inhale the left leg up, sending it through to pigeon. The knee comes on the outside of the wrist if possible. Lift up out of your waist and then forward fold, just melt over your thigh. Again, choosing where to put your arms can make all the difference in the world. So if you're on your elbows, it gives your shoulders some extra load that's not necessary. So if you can pull your arms behind you and relax your shoulders, just let your arms drop. You don't have to put them anywhere special. It's really just a relaxation. Fully completing your exhale. Last flow of the day. Step your foot back, high to low, up to down. Mm -hmm. 
Right on. Then find child's pose. Noticing any differences between the one you started with and maybe this one. I don't know. Maybe your knees are closer. Maybe your arms are behind you. Doesn't matter. And when you're ready, you'll come around onto your back for one set of bridge or wheel. So in bridge, your heels come really close to you to the point where you can touch them. You can really feel them. And then you'll inhale, lift your hips up to the ceiling. And if you like, you can interlace your hands fingers underneath you, straight arms, press your wrists together and lift your hips higher. And then you'll roll your spine down one bone at a time, drawing your knees into your shoulders or your rib cage, maybe taking happy baby, maybe just windshield wipering your knees back and forth. This is personal. It's what does your body need? And then you'll send your feet up to the ceiling. So this is the beginning of a, an inversion. And there's something nice about the length of your spine on the floor. So you could stay here. Sometimes this is a perfect place to stay. It's great for your core. It's great to reverse energy, but some of us like to do shoulder stands. And if that's you, you'll exhale your feet up to the ceiling, supporting your lower back, walking your elbows in close. And then when that little weirdness goes out of your throat and your shoulders, it might just feel good to let your toes drop behind your head. If it does, maybe bend your knees. Let your spine fully open. Wherever you are, take your time coming out. So make sure you use your breath. So the feet go up and then roll your spine down one bone at a time. And as you do, pull your right knee into your right rib cage. Send the left leg long onto the floor. And then guide your knee across your body for a spine stretch. And you want to breathe here a lot. So maybe take a very slow inhale and a loud, long exhale. And then draw back into the center. Take your left knee into the rib cage. Send the right leg onto the floor. And again, guide it across your body kind of easy. It's more important where your shoulders are. So it doesn't matter if your knee touches the floor. Notice more that your shoulders are on the floor. And then that slow inhale. Loud, long exhale and then come back into the middle and kind of scan around for anything that you need to stretch out move place whatever so you can find the most comfortable spot for you to spend about a minute or two literally doing nothing Sometimes throwing a towel or a t-shirt is nice to put over your eyes. But get comfortable. Get heavy. Get easy. And then start to let the muscles of your face unwind. Start to let your shoulders sink into the ground. Notice the weight of your hands on the floor. Let your belly just relax. 
and let your feet dangle as if they're dangling off the edge of a beautiful pier. They're just heavy and loose. And for the next minute or so, maybe you can use those exhales to increase the awareness of that you are heavy and easy. This is so many things, but I think one of the highlights for me is that when you do practice like this, you start to build a compassion for yourself. Some of the stuff you can do, some of the stuff you can't do, and that compassion spills over to every part of your life and every person in it. So my hope is that you come out of here feeling lighter, happier, more full, and it's inevitable. It'll trickle off to everybody you encounter today and hopefully for the next week. So thank you everybody for being here. I love, I love this. I love it with you. So namaste.